Hello strategists. Let's talk about Porter's Diamond. Porter's Diamond and Porter's Five Forces. Sometimes students get confused. Porter's Five Forces help an organization to focus and evaluate the internal market and the forces within that market that companies need to cater to. Porter's Diamond, on the other hand, looks at the competitive advantage of nations. Porter's Diamond comes into picture whenever an organization wants to expand into another country. For example, if an Indian firm wants to go and do business in China, it will need to understand the Porter's through the Porter's Diamond, the Chinese market. Porter's Diamond has an interrelationship between four different elements which ultimately drive a nation's competitive advantage. First, the demand conditions. We all have heard about this abbreviation called BRIC, Brazil, Russia, India and China. No country or no company can ignore the prospective demand available in these countries and thus want to have their presence felt. So demand conditions are one of the most important elements for any company to decide the next country. Next we move on to the factor conditions. Factor conditions are primarily related to the supply factors and the resources which would be required by an organization not only to manufacture goods but also develop and service those products. The fourth element of a porter's diamond are the related and supporting industry. Relating and supporting industry looks at the maturity of the overall supply chain. For example, in India, we have a huge demand. We have resources available. But do we have the relating and supporting industry in a mature phase? The answer could be a yes or a no depending on which industry we pick on. Now the maturity of the relating and supporting industry will be a critical component for an organization to choose a country. A company could adopt two strategies. Irrespective of the maturity of the related and supporting industry, a company could still decide to enter an X market and help, the, and help in developing the relating industry or the company could follow a wait and watch approach wherein they would wait for the government of that country to build the supporting industry and then the companies will enter. The last but not the least component of the Porter's Diamond is the structure strategy and rivalry. This element of the diamond looks at the competitors within a particular country. Any country which has a good competition will drive the companies to improvise the products, increase value, lower prices and provide benefit to the customers. Porter's Diamond affects four components that can enable a nation's competitive advantage. First, the availability of resources and skills. Second, the opportunities available for companies to pursue, the goals of individual companies and last is the pressure on companies to innovate and invest. All these four elements of Porter's Diamond are interlinked and cannot be considered in isolation. There is a sixth force that we refer to in the Porter's Diamond as the role of the government. Government in different countries can encourage companies to raise performance, stimulate demand and focus on the RC grid of a nation. RC grid stands for resource competency grid which provides a country its strategic capability. In this slide let's look at some of the examples. India had a competitive advantage of highest number of English speaking people resulting in highest number of call centers operating out of India. Now this is a key competitive advantage that India had which led to the growth of the call center industry. 
China's government focus on making it the manufacturing hub gave China the competitive advantage. Thus, we all know that the lowest price goods that are produced anywhere in the world are majorly being manufactured in China. India is primarily a service provider because it has its competitive advantage in the service industry and China has its competitive advantage in the manufacturing sector. Size of markets in BRIC countries make all companies set up their business in these countries. Porter's Diamond also includes an element of the culture of a particular country in which we are trying to enter. It is worth noting that as part of the analysis of Porter's Diamond, a company also needs to focus on understanding the culture of the country that they are trying to enter.